Hi there. I'm busy using science to remove rust from a 65-year-old cast iron pan. If you have an old cast iron skillet or pot sitting in your basement gathering rust, I highly recommend using this method to clean it up. It works wonders. All of the parts can be purchased at your um, local hardware store, dollar store, or supermarket. Uh, the most expensive item is this 12-volt battery charger, but if you wanted to do this on the cheap, I don't see why you couldn't get a 12-volt uh, power transformer plug at Salvation Army or a dollar store and use jumper cables to attach it to your pan. Of course, if you do this, be sure to use a surge protector. Now, the battery charger is connected to jumper cables here, and the jumper cables lead out to, uh, onto my porch to this plastic tub filled with a solution of uh, regular tap water and washing soda. Now, washing soda is a chemical containing uh, carbonate of soda, and uh, you can buy this at uh, Stop and Shop for about $3 in the laundry detergent aisle. Uh, this is not baking soda, it's washing soda. Now, um, back inside the tub here, we have the positive pole and the negative pole. Uh, the positive connection is attached to a cheap metal tray I bought at the dollar store. Um, this is a disposable piece of metal here. Uh, after a while, the electrical and chemical reactions will cause this piece of metal to corrode. Um, meanwhile, inside this plastic dish rack, we have the, pop, we have the uh, negative connection. This is attached to the cast iron pan, and you can see the bubbles of hydrogen um, being uh, generated by the uh, electrolysis process. That's why I'm doing this outside of my balcony, and that's why I have a fan set up as well, to uh, dissipate the hydrogen gas. Um, hydrogen is, of course, very flammable, and it would be very dangerous to, um, do, this, uh, to do this inside in a closed space. Now, uh, I'll be leaving this set up overnight, and uh, by tomorrow, I should have a uh, clean cast iron pan that looks like this. I restored this Wagner uh, cast iron skillet with electrolysis back in April, and as you can see, it still looks terrific. I have a web page with instructions and links for doing electrolysis on the Facebook Cast Iron Cooking Group, so uh, be sure to come over and check us out.